Life can get really busy, right? But guess what? There's a way to handle all those crazy challenges and find your inner peace oasis. These ancient wisdom nuggets are like life hacks for your soul, helping you navigate through tough times like a pro. In this video, we're exploring seven Zen-inspired strategies that can totally shake up your daily routine. Get ready to change your perspective, find your Zen zone, and live your best, most chill life ever. So, get ready because we're about to take a journey that will transform how you see the world. Let's dive in. Step 1. Stay focused and aware of the present moment. Staying focused and aware of the present moment is super important according to Zen teachings. In our busy world full of distractions and constant stimulation, it can be hard to stay in the moment. But by practicing mindfulness, we can learn to anchor ourselves in the here and now. This helps us understand ourselves and our surroundings better. Mindfulness means paying attention to our thoughts, feelings and sensations without judging them. It's about being fully engaged in what's happening right now instead of dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. When we're mindful, we can see our thoughts and feelings clearly without letting them overwhelm us. This can help us deal with problems calmly and with a clear mind. So, next time you're faced with a challenge, try bringing your attention back to the present moment. So, when we stay focused on the present moment, we get a fresh perspective. This helps us make decisions with a clear understanding of what's going on. Being aware of the present moment also lets us fully enjoy life's simple pleasures. Often, we rush through our days, worried and anxious, and miss out on the beauty around us. But by practicing mindfulness, we start noticing and appreciating the little things in life. There are many ways to cultivate mindfulness. One popular way is meditation. During meditation, we set aside time to sit quietly and pay attention to our breath or how our body feels. By meditating regularly, we train our minds to be more focused and aware. We can also practice mindfulness in our daily activities. Whether we're eating, walking, or talking to someone, we can pay attention to what we're doing in that moment. This helps us stay focused and aware of what's happening around us. When we practice mindfulness, we tap into our inner wisdom and intuition. This helps us understand our needs and desires better, so we can make choices that align with our values. It also helps us tackle our problems more effectively. Mindfulness also brings a sense of calm and inner peace. This reduces stress and anxiety, especially during tough times. Making mindfulness a part of our lives can really change how we handle challenges. By staying focused on the present moment, we open ourselves up to growth, clarity, and a stronger connection with ourselves and the world around us. Step 2. Learn to let go of strong feelings of wanting or needing something. This is a big lesson in Zen teachings. In our society, we're often driven by the need for more things or external validation. It's normal to feel like we're always wanting something more or feeling dissatisfied. But Zen teachings show us that desires are fleeting and that we can find contentment by letting go. This idea of not getting too attached to our desires is central to Zen. Instead of letting our desires control us, we're encouraged to observe them without getting swept away by them. This doesn't mean we ignore our desires, but we learn to have a healthy relationship with them. Understanding that desires come and go helps us break free from their hold and find deeper fulfillment. When we're less fixated on what we want, we rely less on external things to make us happy. We start to see that real contentment comes from within, not from having everything we want. This change in how we see things helps us appreciate the joy of the present moment. Letting go of our attachment to desires helps us appreciate what we already have instead of always wanting more. 
It also frees us from the disappointment that comes with unmet expectations. When we hold on tightly to specific outcomes or things, we end up feeling let down and frustrated. Zen teachings remind us that everything changes, so it's better to accept and let go. This mindset makes it easier to deal with life's ups and downs. Mindfulness is key to releasing strong desires. By paying attention to our desires without getting caught up in them, we can understand why we want certain things. This helps us see if they truly make us happy in the long run. Practicing gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we already have. When we're grateful for the good things in our lives, like relationships or simple pleasures, we don't feel the need to chase after more. This helps us find contentment in the present moment and reduces our craving for validation or material things. Learning to let go of strong desires is a powerful practice that lets us live more authentically and peacefully. By embracing non-attachment, we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. When we let go of our strong attachment to desires, we become less driven by external wants and more in tune with our inner wisdom. This helps us make choices that truly reflect our values and lead us to genuine fulfillment. By releasing our grip on wanting, we can ease much of the suffering caused by always craving more. Practicing mindfulness, gratitude and understanding impermanence helps us cultivate contentment and find lasting solutions to our problems. Letting go of our desires creates space for true peace and inner freedom to grow in our lives. Step 3. Be kind and understanding towards others. This is a key principle in Zen teachings and it has the power to solve our problems and build harmonious relationships. In today's fast-paced world, it's crucial to show empathy and compassion for both ourselves and others. When we approach others with kindness, we create an atmosphere of trust and support. Offering a helping hand or a listening ear can bring comfort to those in need. Kindness is contagious and even small acts of compassion can inspire others and create a sense of community. Understanding is also important. Zen teachings encourage us to deeply understand the experiences, perspectives and struggles of others by putting ourselves in their shoes. Cultivating empathy and compassion helps us respond to others' needs with sensitivity and care. Understanding where others are coming from strengthens our connections and helps us resolve conflicts more effectively. Being kind and understanding towards others also boosts our own well-being. When we do good deeds, it brings us fulfillment and joy, reconnecting us with our innate qualities of generosity and compassion. This enhances our sense of self-worth and happiness. Step 4. Grow your appreciation for the things you have in life. This is a powerful practice in Zen teachings that can change your perspective and help solve your problems. In a world that often pushes us to chase after more, cultivating gratitude for what we already have brings deep contentment and fulfillment. Appreciation means recognizing the abundance and blessings in your life, no matter how small they may seem. It's about shifting your focus from what you lack to what you have and finding joy in the present moment. By acknowledging and expressing gratitude for the things you have, you can truly enhance your satisfaction with life. Practicing gratitude helps you develop a positive outlook and feel more satisfied. Instead of always wanting more, you learn to find fulfillment within yourself and in the simple joys of everyday life. This change in perspective brings greater peace and happiness, even during tough times. To grow your appreciation, take time each day to think about what you're grateful for. It could be something small like a beautiful sunset or a tasty meal, or the love and support of your family and friends. Fully engage with these experiences, savoring and cherishing them. Keeping a gratitude journal is another powerful practice. 
Write down three things you're grateful for every day. This helps you focus on the good things in your life and strengthens your ability to find gratitude, even when things are tough. Reviewing your journal regularly reminds you of the abundance around you. Expressing gratitude to others is also important. Take the time to thank those who have been kind and supportive. Acknowledging their impact on your life deepens your appreciation and strengthens your relationships. Practicing gratitude not only helps you appreciate what you have, but also strengthens your relationships and fosters a cycle of kindness and appreciation. As you grow your appreciation for the things in your life, you may also become more mindful of your consumption habits. Zen teachings encourage simplicity and mindful consumption, recognizing that having too many material possessions can lead to attachment and suffering. By valuing what you already have, you might find that you need less to feel content and fulfilled. Growing your appreciation for life is a transformative practice that brings greater joy, contentment and resilience. It shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's present, opening your heart to the abundance around you. Through gratitude, you can find peace and comfort even in life's challenges. Step 5. Accept that nobody is perfect and embrace your own flaws. This teaching in Zen is liberating and can deeply impact your journey toward solving problems and finding inner peace. In a world that often pushes for perfectionism, accepting your flaws encourages self-compassion, self-acceptance and a deeper understanding of the human experience. Recognizing that nobody is perfect relieves you from the pressure to constantly achieve impossible standards. It reminds you that imperfection is a natural part of being human and everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses. Embracing your flaws with compassion and acceptance allows you to feel whole and authentic rather than seeing your flaws as shortcomings. See your flaws as opportunities for growth and learning. Embrace the lessons they offer and recognize that they're part of your journey towards self-discovery and personal development. Accepting your flaws frees you from self-criticism and judgment, allowing you to live more authentically. Practice self-compassion by treating yourself kindly, especially during tough times. Instead of being hard on yourself, offer the same care and understanding you would to a friend facing similar challenges. Remember, mistakes and setbacks are normal and don't lessen your worth. Embracing your flaws also helps you empathize with others. When you acknowledge your own humanity and vulnerability, you become more accepting of others' imperfections. This fosters deeper connections and more meaningful relationships based on authenticity and mutual respect. In conclusion, accepting that nobody is perfect and embracing your flaws leads to greater self-acceptance, compassion and inner peace. By letting go of the need to be perfect and embracing your authentic self, you can live with more freedom, joy and fulfillment. Remember that your flaws don't define you. They're part of your journey toward wholeness and self-discovery. By accepting this truth, you can be more compassionate and kind to yourself. Embracing your flaws means recognizing and accepting your unique qualities, both positive and negative. Instead of feeling ashamed of your flaws, see them as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. This acceptance leads to a deeper sense of authenticity and self-acceptance. You no longer need to pretend to be someone you're not or strive for an unattainable ideal. Practicing self-compassion is crucial in accepting your flaws. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding, just as you would a dear friend facing challenges or making mistakes. Mindfulness helps in accepting imperfections and embracing flaws. By being aware of the present moment, you can observe your thoughts and emotions without getting caught up in them. This allows you to respond to your flaws with self-compassion instead of self-criticism. 
understanding the interconnectedness of all beings can also aid in accepting imperfections. Recognize that everyone has struggles and flaws, and we're all on this journey together. Embrace our shared humanity and foster empathy and compassion towards others as well as yourself. By accepting that nobody is perfect and embracing your flaws, you free yourself from unrealistic expectations and self-judgment. You learn to love and accept yourself as you are, with all your strengths and weaknesses. This practice helps you tackle problems with more resilience, flexibility, and a better understanding of yourself and others. Remember, it's through our imperfections that we discover our true beauty and strength. Embrace your flaws as part of your unique journey and use them as stepping stones for personal growth and self-discovery. Step 6. Find balance and avoid extremes in your lifestyle. This is a fundamental principle in Zen philosophy that can help solve problems and foster well-being. In a world filled with busyness and constant striving, it's crucial to seek harmony and moderation in all aspects of life. Finding balance means recognizing how different areas of your life are connected and ensuring each gets the attention it deserves. It's about not focusing too much on one thing while neglecting others. By finding equilibrium, you lay the groundwork for lasting happiness and fulfillment. Balancing your time and energy is key. Allocate time for work, relationships, self-care, hobbies and personal growth. Balancing these aspects helps you avoid burnout, nurture meaningful connections, and promote personal well-being. Balance also extends to your physical and mental health. Take care of your body through regular exercise, good nutrition, and sufficient rest. Similarly, nurture your mental health through practices like meditation, mindfulness, and self-reflection. Avoiding extremes in these areas helps you find inner calm and clarity. Overall, finding balance in your life is about recognizing interconnectedness, prioritizing different aspects, and avoiding extremes. This approach fosters well-being, resilience, and a sense of fulfillment. Zen philosophy teaches the middle way, which means avoiding extremes like excessive indulgence or extreme asceticism. It's about finding a moderate path that doesn't cling too much to sensual pleasures, but still recognizes the importance of meeting basic needs and finding joy in life. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in constant busyness and overstimulation. However, finding balance means creating space for stillness and solitude. Taking time for quiet reflection, meditation, or simply being in nature can help restore balance and provide clarity amidst the chaos. Cultivating mindfulness is crucial for finding balance and avoiding extremes. By being aware of your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, you can notice when you're leaning towards an extreme and make conscious choices to realign with balance. Mindfulness allows you to respond rather than react impulsively, fostering a sense of equanimity. Practicing non-attachment also supports your journey towards balance. By letting go of rigid expectations and attachments to outcomes, you can embrace the fluid nature of life and adapt to changing circumstances. Non-attachment helps you find contentment in the present moment instead of constantly chasing after external achievements or possessions. Finding balance and avoiding extremes is an ongoing practice that requires self-awareness, intentionality, and self-compassion. It's about being mindful of your actions and choices, letting go of what doesn't serve you, and embracing the beauty of life's natural flow. It's about creating a life that nourishes all aspects of your being and allows you to thrive in a sustainable and holistic way. By embracing balance, you can find greater peace, harmony, and fulfillment in your life. Step 7. Share what you have with others and be generous. 
Sharing what you have and practicing generosity is a fundamental teaching in Zen philosophy that can bring immense joy and create positive change in the world. Cultivating a spirit of generosity supports those in need and nurtures qualities like compassion, selflessness and interconnectedness. Sharing what you have can take many forms, whether it's material possessions, time, skills or knowledge. Generosity is about offering what you can with an open heart and without expecting anything in return. It's an expression of kindness and a way to alleviate suffering, creating a more harmonious society. Material generosity involves sharing your resources with those less fortunate. This can be as simple as donating to charitable organizations, giving food or clothing to those in need, or supporting causes aligned with your values. By sharing what you have, you contribute to the well-being of others and foster a sense of community. Generosity also includes sharing your skills, talents and knowledge. Offering your expertise empowers others to grow and thrive. Whether it's teaching someone a new skill, mentoring a colleague or sharing your wisdom, your generosity can inspire and uplift those around you. Practicing generosity isn't limited to giving to others. It also involves being generous with your time, attention and kindness in everyday interactions. Small acts of generosity can have a big impact, spreading positivity and creating a ripple effect of kindness in the world. Cultivating an attitude of generosity involves being kind, compassionate and supportive towards others in your daily interactions. Small acts of kindness like offering a smile, a kind word or a helping hand can profoundly impact someone's day. Generosity isn't just about external giving, it's also about the intention behind your actions. It's about nurturing a generous heart and letting go of attachments and self-centeredness. Practicing generosity helps you develop qualities like gratitude, humility and interconnectedness, which contribute to your personal growth and well-being. In the Zen tradition, Giving is considered a spiritual practice that leads to inner transformation. It cultivates a sense of abundance and contentment within oneself by letting go of the illusion of scarcity and trusting in the interconnectedness of all beings. Incorporating the practice of sharing what you have and being generous into your life can bring immense joy and meaning. It allows you to contribute to the well-being of others, foster a sense of community and cultivate qualities of compassion and selflessness. Start by reflecting on the resources, skills or time you can share and find meaningful ways to give back to the world around you. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you found this story meaningful and the lessons impactful, don't miss out on more content like this. Subscribe to our channel to stay connected and receive regular updates filled with insightful narratives and valuable life lessons. Thank you for your support, and we look forward to sharing more empowering Zen teaching with you. Remember, every small step towards personal development counts. See you in our next video.